if you're beating the drum of the question, then that's the receiving mode you're in. And all you're going to do is get more answers that help you to identify more clearly that yes, this is indeed a problem. Or yes, this indeed is a question. So you have to put separation between the question and the answer. And then, when it first comes, it might seem off the subject, but you have to just trust it because it was loud and clear. We've been telling the story, and you may have heard it, but we're going to tell it in a very condensed version right now so that you can understand. So what Esther's never-ending question is, how can I be in a position where I can be of more value to more? That's what Esther is about. That's what she's come to realize. That's what she wants. There's nothing that she appreciates or enjoys more than this, being in a position where she can open her vortex and allow answers to your questions to flow through. So that's a question that is just always rumbling in the vibration of Esther. So she meditated one morning, got a really strong impulse, coming out of meditation, the strongest impulse to go play with her music system, which she hadn't played with, she didn't really understand it. It's in a house in California. She figured it out within a few minutes, discovered all kinds of different music, got settled in on rap, which was new for her to listen to, really enjoyed it, and so, so that's the story. She meditated and was inspired to play until she heard rap. Now, how random. <laughs> and Esther couldn't, if she dug through her vortex, she could not identify why that impulse would be a piece of any answer to any question that she held. But it was so strong, she couldn't not do it. It was like more important than anything, more important than breakfast, more important than anything that was on her list of things to do that day. That was something she was driven to do. Better way of saying it is called to do. So it was like a stepping stone to the solution. It was such a strong impulse. This is what we're wanting to convey to you. It felt off topic of anything that mattered, but boy, did it feel like it mattered. So she played with it and then that was it. She really enjoyed it. She turned it up loud, played it through all the gardens and the courtyards, all through the house, and she just really had a good time understanding her system and hearing rap. The next day, she meditated and got a really strong impulse to move furniture around in her house. Random. Esther hadn't been thinking about moving furniture around in her house, but suddenly she was ravenous about it. She stood in the living room and she thought, this has all got to change. <laughs> and it's heavy. So she got right on the computer, found someone who would come. Two men came, and they're moving furniture around. And Esther's very playful and happy. And it's a beautiful, beautiful day, and they're talking about that. And then one of them says, I'm not going to be here. I'm going back to Alabama. And Esther wants to know why. And he says, because I'm a rapper. <laughs> and Esther says, hold on a minute. So she goes in where her contraptions are, turn them on loud through all the gardens for all the land to hear, put it on the rap station, and came back out. And these two young men are standing with their mouths hanging open. They cannot believe it. And now they've already become quite interested in Esther because she has a very lovely place and really beautiful gardens and really beautiful things. And she's like a really crazy person because she is too old to be having this much fun and they can't quite figure her out and so one of them said well what do you do and Esther says I'm a teacher well what do you teach and Esther said rap <laughs> but what we're getting at is it led to this wonderful discussion because he was giving up on where he was because what he wanted wasn't happening so he was out there in the vicinity of Esther asking all of these questions that his inner being knew where the answers were. Esther has this intention to be of value, and so their inner beings just got together and offered a path of least resistance scenario. Are you following? How is Esther going to meet this person? So the impulse to play with her music system and then the impulse to move her furniture around were necessary for this meeting. Do you hear what we're getting at? So the answers that you think you're listening for, if it were your mother giving you that advice, she'd say, well, honey, I think you should figure out how this music system works. And you'd say, mother, I don't have time for that. And she would say, well, really, I think you should listen to this music system. You would argue, 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 argue. In other words, because as humans, you want to know, well, what's that got to do with this? 
If I listen to the music system, then what? Well, then you have to wait for the next clue to come tomorrow. <laughs> but you have to meditate first. What? And when it comes, just do it. Don't ask why, just do it. Well, that's kind of what we're suggesting here. So the first order of business is you've got to show yourself how to get in the receptive mode. And you've got to know when you're there and when you receive something that feels as strong as these two impulses felt to Esther, we wouldn't have to say to Esther, now do it because it feels strong. She couldn't not do it, it felt that strong. You see what we're getting at? Mm -hmm.